I've got a couple of minutes to brainstorm these three areas, so I'm going to capture your answers on here. So I want you to shout out what were some of the things that you came up with that you can control? Anybody? Okay, great. When you say yourself, give me some specifics. What can attitude? Yes, absolutely. What else can you control? Uh, what was that? Mouth. Ooh. You know what I have really learned? What I've really learned is I gotta shut up more. Honestly, there are times I go, because mm. if I say something, I know I'm gonna regret it. That's very good. I love that your mouth. Good. What else? Can you control? Actions. Reactions. All right, beautiful. What else? Candy control. Happiness. Yep. Absolutely. What else? Candy control. Acceptance. Nice. All right, anything else on your list that you can't control? Your outlook. Yes. All right, outstanding. Let's go to the next category. There are some things you may have influence over. What were some of the things you came up with? Co-workers, yes, very good. Outstanding, what else can you control, might have influence over? Patient's experience, yes. You may not control other people, but you control at least your experience with the patient and how they might perceive that, very good. What else it might have influence? What's that? Policy. Policy, yeah. Now, I didn't mention this. Uh, in my book, I have a whole chapter on whining with purpose, so let me talk about that for a minute, because policy is a great example. Again, I don't mind whining as long as it's, pers it's purposeful. So what happens in the, that chapter I explained is what you want to do is say, you know, here's the challenge I have with the policy. I'm a bit concerned about X, Y, Z. And here's a potential solution, a little twist or a minor change we could have that I think it would work out better. All right? Whining with purpose. So you're coming with a solution. So thank you for that. So that's a great example. I don't have a problem with whining as long as it's purposeful. Winding behind people's back does not help. All right, beautiful. All right, let's move to the last category. What are some things you cannot control? Other people, yeah. So you'll notice we have these two places. You have coworkers, patients, I mean a lot of, and other people basically. You can't control them, you can influence them. It ends up to be in both categories. If you try to control them, you get into unhealthy, dysfunctional, codependent behavior. You don't want to go down that road. All right, other people, what else cannot control? Change, yeah. Uh, the fact that you're in a, a merger situation, you can't change the government, you can't, I mean, there's a lot of the weather, I mean, come on, right? So there's a lot of things you cannot control, but it depends on what you're focused on. So I want you to look, other than the fact I have them in different colors, what do you notice about the list you've created? Yeah, there's a lot more you can control and may have influence over than you cannot control, but what do we focus on?